What's the greatest lesson that you've experienced working with the angels? Um, the, the, the biggest lesson that I've learned is that no physical thing can ever dial me into happiness, Ooh. you know? Yes. And, um, when I first started to work with the angels, I, I was receiving a lot of demonstrations of like really cool things happening like this and that and manifestations and, and then somewhere along the way, you know, like when I used to start, when I started praying to the angels and working with them, I'd ask for this and I'd ask for that. And then, and then I was kind of feeling an emptiness with it. And I was like, angels, you know, um, why is this happening? Um, and I remember receiving this message, something along the lines of, um, you're trying to fill a space that can never be filled. That was just right. something along those lines. And ever since that day, I've stopped asking for specific mm -hmm. things. I, have, I don't have a manifestation goal or, you know, or anything like that. And I just surrender my day every day to the angels with the knowing that the best will unfold anyway. Like that's the way I do it. And everything I've ever wanted, need, and more has always been given to me. I love that. I mean, but I think too, some of the issues with the quote, quote unquote conversation about manifestation is thing oriented. Mm -hmm. So I always look right. at it as, as the essence of the experience that you want to have, you know, that right. as opposed to the other thing, but I love that. Yeah. And then surrender the form. You have to just surrender the form. Okay. If you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.